is Bill. I'm going to do a review here for you. I've got Thumb Keyboard 4. Uh, you can get this in the Amazon App Store and you can also get it in the Google Play Store. Uh, I believe the price is somewhere between $2.99 and $4. Uh, this keyboard is designed for tablets or phones. You can choose the layout. There's several different layouts. I'm going to go through the settings and show you all the settings and I'm going to show you just the basic design of the keyboard. Uh, what you're looking at here is the HTC One S from T-Mobile and the uh, Google Nexus 7 from Asus. So as you can see here it looks completely different on the HTC One S. I don't have the uh, cursor, the uh, arrow keys down here, the navigation keys. I don't have those on the uh, HTC One S and I also don't have this row which is a customizable row. You can add in anything you want. So you can see here, if I hit M2, it types in my Twitter name. So you can see you can set that up however you want. And uh, the way this tablet, this keyboard works is for, this, for the layouts of it. So you can see when I flip my HTC One S over, you can see how this layout looks on it. But then notice when the tablet has a split design, because it's called Thumb Keyboard, it's for using your thumbs like so. So when you flip it over, you can see there you get your numbers in the middle, and you can customize this completely. You can set it up however you want and have your layout, whatever uh, you choose. So uh, that's Thumb Keyboard. I'm going to hit the lights, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on my Nexus 7. All right, everybody, you can see here, you got your Nexus logo there. I've got my Nexus 7 tablet from uh, Google, and uh, we're going to go over Thumb Keyboard. So the first thing you're going to need to do, go to either the Amazon App Store or the Google Play Store, and you're going to need to get Thumb Keyboard, and it's Thumb Keyboard 4. Okay, you're going to go in, once you have that downloaded successfully, you're going to go into Settings, and you're going to select Language and Input, and you're going to check mark that box right there, Thumb Keyboard 4. Now, once you check that box, that is not the end of it. You cannot use Thumb Keyboard just yet. You have one more setting to go through to actually just be able to go out and use it without going through all the settings. So we're just going to go up here to Sound Settings. This is just a quick way to do it. There's lots of ways you can get to it. Uh, just go to Test Sound. Okay, now you can see it came up. You also have this little icon up here in your drop-down bar, a little keyboard icon. So you're going to go to Choose Input Method. We're going to Choose Input Method, and we're going to check off Thumb Keyboard 4 that will allow you to bring your keyboard up like I've done here. So we'll go into settings for Thumb Keyboard 4. You have basic settings, all settings, documentation and contact info, backup and restore, which is one really cool feature about this uh, Thumb Keyboard uh, 4, is that it has backup and restore. You can save all your settings. If you ever have to uninstall it and reinstall it, or you got it on another device, your settings are backed up and stored. Okay, and you can find that file on your computer for the backup and save. So you could technically take that file, transfer it to, say, your phone, something like that, from your tablet to your phone, restore, and your keyboard's going to look identical. So here's what we'll go through real quick. Basic settings. Enable key press sounds. I have that checked. Enable haptic feedback. Let me make sure you got the volume up here. Okay. Enable uh, key pop-up feedback, show cursor key row, which is going to be your arrows, left, right, up, down. Uh, the theme, I have, uh, right now I'm using plain artistic 2, uh, one-handed thumb operation, keyboard size. You can go in here and you can mess with the height uh, in landscape and in portrait, the width, landscape, and portrait. And you can click on test keyboard. You always uh, the developer is always giving you the options to test the keyboard, make sure it's what you want, so you can go right back out, nice and easy, and uh, readjust things. So, like I said, this is the best keyboard that I've seen in the Android market. And a cool thing about this keyboard, the update that they just put out for it supports Jelly Bean and Ice Cream Sandwich as far as voice typing goes. So basically, when you hit the microphone on the keyboard will demonstrate right here when you hit the microphone on the keyboard that is basically acting like a shortcut directly to the microphone on the stock keyboard which is enabling Google's voice uh, recognition so 
as you can see, while I'm typing, it is printing stuff out. There is no waiting, like a lot of the other keyboards. And that was one feature I was looking at in the Android market, was I wanted a keyboard that is going to type things out the way Google wants you to be able to type them out. A lot of the keyboards out there have their own microphone set up and their own dictionary that it goes from. And a lot of them are not as accurate as the Google type, the Google voice typing. So let's back up here. Let's close this out. So you can see here, height of spacebar row. I mean, you really got some detailed settings here. Oh, let's go back in there. Uh, keyboard size. So you have, we'll start out up here at the top. You have height of the keyboard in portrait mode, height of keyboard in landscape mode, width, portrait mode, split letter key blocks, adjust width of the letter keys on the splitted portrait keyboards. Now, what they're talking about on the split keyboard, I'll show you right here, is uh, you can go into all settings. Keyboard side, we're looking for keyboard layout keyboard. Okay, so custom layout. So here's your layouts. Phone standard layout, which that's what you see me using on my HTC One S. Uh, phone split large layout. Phone split compact layout. Phone tablet 5 inch, so that would be for your Galaxy Note, stuff like that, probably look great. Uh, phone small 5 inch, alternate layout. Tablet 7 inch split, normal layout. Tablet 7 inch split, large layout. Now, as you can see, I have pretty good sized fingers, so I'm using the 7 inch split, large layout on my tablet. 7 inch layout 2, obsolete, says. Uh, tablet 10 to 9 inch layout. Uh, for your Galaxy Tab or your Motorola Zoom, stuff like that. So you can see here, we can go to Test Layout, and you can see how mine's laid out there. Let's hit the light on the camera there. So you can see how mine is laid out right there. I got that Nexus, uh, the Nexus explosion in the background, and uh, that's all custom. So you flip her around, and there you go. Now you have your numbers in the middle. And this row that you're seeing here is an extra row. You can get rid of that if you want. You can get rid of the arrows, the cursor, the navigation. This extra row you're seeing, like I have set up here on M3, would be my Twitter. Or M M2. There's my Twitter name, at Bill Ramsey Jr. So uh, you can see how that works. And these buttons are set up completely different of what you have here. So whatever you set up here is not going to affect what you have in this position. So let's get on to some more settings. Okay, so we're in settings here and I'm going to show you real quick. You have the voice input, mic on main keyboard. You can make the mic so it's on your symbols keyboard or you can turn the mic off altogether. Okay, you have uh, continuous recognition, so for those jelly bean and ice cream sandwich users, if it doesn't work, uncheck that box to use uh, continuous voice recognition. And it says right there, uncheck if your device is not supported. Okay, you have hide right shift key, alternative international keyboards, auto capitalization, and again, this stuff, you use all stuff you can check here, a lot of the stuff you cannot do on the stock keyboards that I've seen yet. Uh, auto period, which means uh, insert after sentence word by hitting the space bar twice. So if you hit that space bar twice, you're going to leave a period at the end of your sentence. Uh, long press delay. Delay. Now you can see here, with my big fingers, I usually have this up a little higher. So I have it set at uh, 501. Okay, so because when I long press on something, I'm not the best at typing. I'm not no professional. So I a lot of times will accidentally sit there and leave my fingers on the keyboard. And then you'll end up pressing something else. So this way you have a lot longer time before you have to take your finger away from the keyboard. If I long press on something, I know I'm long pressing on it. And I will be patient and wait. Uh, show passwords. Again, this is another cool feature right here. Show passwords in pre-dictation bar 
when entering text in a masked password field. So when you're going to sign into Facebook, you don't have to click on show password. It's going to show it on your keyboard with that checked. Uh, long press for numbers and symbols. So what this means is uh, for alternative characters, instead of long pressing, waiting for a little window to pop up, and then selecting something out of that window, you can have it so it just does what it shows on the keyboard. So if I want the number 2, I long press, and bam, the number 2 is printed. Okay, I have that unchecked. I, I enter a lot of numbers and stuff, and if I do press on a button, I don't. I want to be able to choose what it is that I'm typing. I don't want it to just type it up there. Again, customization. That's the, that's the name of the game here. Uh, delete word before cursor. Set keys to use to delete word before cursor. Okay, you got input languages. Slide finger on spacebar to change the language right inside the keyboard. So you don't need to go back to settings to do this. So if you're uh, speaking Spanish and English, you got both keyboards right there at your access. Uh, quick fixes. Correct commonly typed mistakes. Like te would type in the, and you can uncheck that if you want. Uh, show suggestions, so it's going to show suggested words. Uh, big RAM suggestions. Use contacts, so for your searches and what you're typing, it'll also search through your contacts. Uh, touch to correct words. Autocomplete. Uh, select autocomplete spacebar. So if we go in here, you can pick a right or left keyboard because uh, the split keyboard has two spacebars. So you can make one of these so it will actually do the correct. See, spacebar and punctuate automatically insert highlighted word. Another quick feature on uh, Thumb Keyboard 4, one of the cool features is that you can long press right here where you have your uh, comma or normally I'm on Google now on my Nexus 7 so normally there would be a microphone there but there isn't on here because I have the microphone up top so if you long press on the comma you come up with this bar right here and with this bar right here you have the option to slide over so you can see there press there hit there and then you come into your settings if you just let go of it, you got general settings or select layout from right there. Another one you have the thumbtack. This is going to be your text shortcuts. So you can see you have a long list of text shortcuts you can use. Okay, then the other one that you have is you come over here. This is going to be the option to have that second row there, that extra row. So you can see there, and it saved my settings. So you can see here you have this extra row across here at the top. That's for custom. So if you just long press on those, you can change that with whatever you want. Okay, and then the other one is right there, hide the keyboard. Again, bring back up your keyboard. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, go get yourself some keyboard for. That's about the best keyboard you're going to find on the Android market. Tons of options, tons of customization. Check out the links in the description. What's up, everybody? This is Bill. Uh, I'm glad you are subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, continue to watch my videos. Uploading new stuff every couple days. I find all kinds of stuff to upload. I uh, try to keep YouTube busy. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me uh, right over there on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me right up that way on Twitter and right over there on Facebook. And I'm also on Google Plus right there. Anyways, hope you continue to watch my videos. Uh, go ahead and give me the like button. Give me the thumbs up. Uh, hit that plus one button down there. And uh, make sure you read my description. I try to keep important information down there. Anyways, stay tuned for more videos. Deuces. Thanks for subscribing.